hello everyone so in this video we're going to talk about query invalidation so this comes very handy for situation like where you want to when you know that user has done something and the data is stale and you want to refetch it so that time this query validation uh, query invalidation comes uh, very useful so what i do now is i take you back to my screen so here if you can see we have uh, list of posts with particular IDs and we have a global post where it fetches all the post without the data but only the title so what I do now if if, uh, if I show you my screen to get started with the query invalidation we have to use the use query client hook so once you have this hook the next step is let's create a button So this button uh, we are calling it as invalidate query let me just go back and now what I what I am doing is this is a synchronous function and here if you see it accepts a property called query key so in the query key we have currently passed a post only so now what if now what happens is when as soon as I click on this I've set my network to slow 3G now. Now as, now, as soon as I click on invalidate query, you can see currently it fetches the post and all the rest of the post with ID. So now let's say if you want to fetch only the post key, not this ID, we have another property called exact. If now I pass it to true, so now instead of post dot post and the id so it will ignore all of them and it will only fetch the this first key so what i do now is no throttle now let's start again now as soon as i click on this it fetches so okay i redo it again so as soon as i click on this as you can see it only fetches and moves the stale to the post not the other ones now let's see if you want oh uh, there's one more property which which comes here is called a uh, post but with the type of active or, in, or inactive or all so let's see if I select inactive so all the post including the post and the ID and this one uh, all will be affected this time I keep it no throttling just to make it again and now as soon as I click on this as you can see it's fetching all the 11 ones but all these 11 ones were, are connected inactive and now if I set it to active so it's fetching now this will affect all the ones which are of type active so if I make it to no throttling again just to show everything quick now if i move to slowly as you can see it's fetching the one and it's moving this to stale because the all the other ones with the colors as you can see all are inactive and the one which we see here all are active so active have fresh fetching and post and all of this so it's only affecting the only this one not the other one so this one was all about query invalidation there's one more thing which i want you to explore that is called query client dot refresh queries so this also works mostly the same and it fetches and it has also the same thing what we had in query or invalidation with the exact and also the uh, type so they both works the same way it doesn't matter but I just wanted to explore I just want you to explore more how they both are different but in just a quick hint most or in most of the scenario always use invalidate query before this this one is quite accurate and this one is uh, this one this one works well in most of the cases but this refetch query will always fetch all of them 
or uh, irrespective of whether they are still or inactive but yeah that's the thumbs rule always use the invalidate query before the refetch query okay so i hope uh, this video is useful so see you in my next video and let's go back to mutations thank you guys have a nice day